Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm doing a do-it-yourself video on how to store your makeup using a cookie tray. So this is just an empty tray that the cookies come in when you buy them at the store. This is probably from an Oreo box because I'm obsessed with Oreos and I can finish a box really quickly. That's why I don't buy them often because I know that if I have them in the house that they'll be gone in like three days maybe, which is really bad and I'm the only one that eats them. So <laughs> I just tell my mom not to buy them. So this is from an empty cookie tray. And so these little compartments are really convenient to store your makeup in. So I'm just going to show you a few things, like for example, that you can store in here. And then I'm going to actually take you over to where I store my makeup and show you guys it in with my makeup and how I actually store my own. So some things that you can fit in here are some mascaras. These are three of my favorite mascaras. Um, the L'Oreal Lash Blast. Um, my current favorite, the... Voluminous, voluminous Million Lashes and uh, Maybelline's One by One, so I love these three. So I'm just going to put them in the middle compartment here. Um, you can also put some lip glosses. These are my steel lip glazes, and I even have a MAC um, Dazzle Glass over here. So I'm just going to put these in here, and they fit really easily. This is actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. It's the Steel Lip Glaze in Believe CK. So that's the red that I have on my lips right now. Absolutely love those. And then um, some things that you can put in this last compartment here are MAC um, paint pots. This one's in Bear Study and Rubenesque. So you can just like stack them like that. And they fit so well in this little container. And it's just so convenient to see all your makeup like set out in different compartments. You can see it all, like you know what you have, and it just looks a lot nicer when it's in your drawers. So I thought this is a really convenient way to store your makeup, um, and it's really cheap. You're reusing something that you were going to throw away anyways, because you can buy little divider, um, divided compartments like this to put in your drawers, like little um, like containers. But those cost more money and this is something that we're going to throw anyway. So I thought this was really convenient and a great tip that I wanted to share with you guys. So now I'm going to take you over to where I store my makeup and show you guys this in my drawer. So over here I just have my makeup collection and it's just stored in one of my dresser drawers, like the second drawer. So I'm just going to go in here and show you what I store in the cookie container. So in the back drawer here I just have a few mascaras and this Garnier eye roller here. Then I have a few more mascaras. I know I'm a ma mascara junkie. Um, over here I have a few um, NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils, um, like an e.l.f. primer here, a glitter liner, and just a few more liquid liners. Um, over here I have my pencil eyeliners and a gel eyeliner. This is just sitting in a little tray here that was actually in a train case that I keep all my headbands in. So I took it out because I wasn't using it, using it in there and I thought it'd be a really great way to store my eyeliners. So then the whole thing is just sitting in this box that actually um, I got a perfume in and it's like a white leather box. It's almost like a shoe box but it's just a lot nicer. So I thought that was a great way to store my makeup here. I guess I'll just go on and show you guys a bit of an overview of the rest of my makeup collection and just a few other tips on how I store everything. So over here, um, I have like another little container. It matches the one that I have my eyeliners in and it just has like some lipsticks and such. It's, um, it was supposed to hold lipsticks and it was in that case again like I said and I'm using it to hold my headband so I don't need the lipstick container in there so I just use it in my makeup collection drawer. So I just have like a few little lipsticks, um, a concealer, some lash glue, and like a ch chapstick. Um, just here in the middle I just have some NYX pigments. Here this is like a little um, cardboard box that I just keep um, like some tools here, like a little makeup powder here, tinted moisturizer, a lip scrub, and then I just keep my um, Benefit Trio in the box that it came in because I find it convenient to store them. And I can just like pull it out and see which one it is. So that, I actually like the packaging and that's how I store those ones. Over here, this is just like, like a mess of um, <laughs> my daily makeup, some powders, um, some little 
um, paint pots, a MAC blush, some Clinique eyeshadows. It's just things that I use like on a daily basis. So I keep it in a makeup bag and if it's perfectly in the drawer, then I keep all my lip glosses in another makeup bag and then in a separate makeup bag, I just keep some more tools. Oh, and here I just have like Stila lip glazes, some e.l.f. ones, um, like a Clinique one, um, just like other little like soft lips. And I have a MAC Dazzle Glass. And then on the side here I just have some samples. So that's like my whole storage area. But I just wanted to get to give you guys some tips. Um, again, show you the cookie container and then just other little um, tips on how I store things. Like I have a cardboard box here, but it doesn't look bad. Like it's not like a shoe box or anything. And then here I have um, just like a lipstick container. And I store things in makeup bags. It's convenient because even if I have to like do my makeup like on the go, I can just grab the whole bag and go. So it just works for me and that's how I store everything. So that's about it for a quick tip on a do-it-yourself makeup storage container. I find it really helpful to have all your makeup organized because I know that I run late all the time in the morning so it's really easy just to grab what I need to quickly do my makeup and get out the door because I'm always running late and I always, always oversleep. But yeah, so that's about it. I will have more do-it-yourself videos coming soon because I have so many ideas and tips that I feel like you guys would find really helpful. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!